big boy of the show. It's the tanker by Battlelong's development. What's really special and unique about this gun is this was sent to Battle Arms themselves in the United States. So the real gun company, Battle Arms Development, made this gun for us. So this one started out, started off as this one right here, as a regular gas blowback rifle, and Battle Arms Development put the real steel rail on this and the real steel charging handle, the rack charging handle. And just listen how strong this feels. Very, sounds very good, a lot of power. The coating is also custom coated but with this very retro futuristic style um, coating. And all of the wood furniture is the real wood furniture. It's very rich, it feels very good. It's not very slippery and the angle is tuned just right to make a very classic kind of a World War II style modern rifle. Of course, we can't show this guy off without our own Cerakote. This is done by our master Cerakote applicator, Kern. Uh, it's certified by Hillbilly223, a good friend of mine, Boyd, in the United States. So, Hillbilly223 does a lot of the Star Wars style of Cerakoting for battle arms. And of course, we have to do this white, battle-worn, battle arms development coating for this beautiful gun. Moving right along. Here's something very special for a lot of our friends out west where they have to deal with adverse weather conditions. The cold. This is the AEG that will be available very soon. So it's going to have a, a version 2 gearbox. So a lot of the parts are going to be definitely fit and easy to use and exchange with, with whatever you guys want. But it's going to have an ambi selector. It's going to have a micro switch. You can be able to program this thing how you want to do it. And the best part of all, it will also come with a rotary style hop-up. Meaning you're going to be able to adjust this thing very precisely to exactly where that BB wants to go. So this gun is available to be shot at our shooting range, so you guys can check that out later. And it's a very fun gun to shoot. So let's move on to our pistols next. Can I have a question? Yes. You said that uh, that pistol grips, you can move the angle? Yes. This is a new feature of the... I, I want to I want to know the brand of this. So brand. this is a Battle Arms grip itself from Battle Arms Development. So you take the screw here, you loosen the screw, and then you see teeth. So you just adjust to where you like it, take the screw, put it back in, and set it. Perfect. So this is our Nighthawk custom ball. Uh, let's start with the Agent 1. The Agent 1 is a very unique 1911, even the fact that it is a 4.3 inch slide with a full size body. So what that means is you have a very compact looking gun, but you're not compromising at all on the grip. These rail scale panels are aggressive enough where you're not, your hand's not going to slip, but not too aggressive where it eats into your hand. So that's a very good feature of this gun. The cycling is incredibly smooth. That's, it's Cerakote? It's Cerakote, yeah. So, it's very, very smooth. So this is the Agent 1. It is, the slide is designed by Agency Arms and fit by Nighthawk Customs, so it's a collaborative piece. But you cannot have an Agent 1 without having the Agent 2. And the Agent 2, just this Amazing. Hook trigger. The, the slide is also done by Agency Arms, but now Nighthawk really took the frame up to the next level. If you compare the two, the frame as you see here features some of the same design, uh, same designs as you see from their Glock line. It has the accelerator cut for you to place your thumb, it has lightning cuts right up here where the rail is, even on the bottom, so it lightens that up. It's a much lighter piece than some other 1911s out there. The panels are licensed by rail scales and they mirror the serrations found in the front. So when you grip it, it feels like it's a one piece design. And when you hold it, it is a little bit more aggressive than the Agent 1. You have serrations in the front and the back strap. When you hold it, it sits very nicely in your hand. And even, even if you have a little sweaty palms, it's not going to shake. A really nice design feature, attention to detail that I really like, is the pushing. This bushing is so beautifully cut with all the different angles to it. And it just makes the 1911 platform very modern, very trendy, but not too much. So this is the Agent 2. Moving right along, we have a more budget-friendly Warhawk line of pistols. What's really unique about the Warhawk is it features Nighthawk Customs tri-cut design. So the tri-cut means it takes material off the side and the top of the slide. So if you compare it to a traditional 1911, 
it feels slimmer, and the uh, the, the the bonus of having a tri-cut design is because due to the less material on the slide, the draw in and out of the holster is much easier, and it's a much quicker motion. And it can also facilitate top slide serrations, as you see here. The top slide serrations help guide your eyes to that front sight. And it also helps diffuse some of the glare you see from like the sun or lights when you're shooting indoors or under a lot of light. So this is really nice. It doesn't glare off into your eyes. As an added bonus for our Warhawk line of pistols, these guns are dual system. So green gas and CO2 compatible. Uh, the magazines are compatible with the Tokyo Marui MEU 1911 magazines. So, you know, you guys know what that means. I don't have to get into uh, the specifics, but as long as they fit the Tokyo Marui uh, MEU magazines, you're good to go. And of course, it can take CO2, so whatever you guys like, these guys are available for you. It wouldn't be the RWA booth if you don't bring you guys something. Wow, last year was the M2 Browning. This year we partnered with Shoguns to make a wide array of interesting products. This is the Shogun's Ion Blaster. So if you guys like Star Wars, you might know what this is. This is what the Jawas were using. So what's really cool... Yeah, exactly. What's your <laughs> so what's really cool about this thing is a functional VN field, a 20 round magazine. So you can shoot this thing if you want. And the best part is the sound. The sound is the most <laughs> adorable sound you ever hear. Listen to this. <laughs> it is so cute. It's like, yeah, pop it in yeah, champagne. Yeah, yeah, Japan. It's really cool. So the ion blaster, now the heavy blaster. I mean, we know stormtroopers can't hit anything anyways, but hey, they try. And this is what they try with. This is the heavy blaster. And then keeping with the movie theme, we have the 1919 Terminator 3 edition. So this is what Arnold Schwarzenegger was using with the, yeah. the coffin. Oh, get out of here! Out of here. <laughs> yeah, this thing. So from there, now we have a rich heritage, Western country uh, company. We still want to honor our Asian roots and our Asian heritage. And what better way to do it than with a porcelain style KG9? This is a white Cerakote KG9 with high gloss finish and all of the details are hand drawn. The front is different from the back, so it's not the same pattern. Every stroke is done by hand. Even down to the imperial, the imperial parchment that you see here, which tells the story of the painting of the gun. All done in handmade Chinese calligraphy. So we have the beautiful mountains in the front and in the back is the Great Wall of China.